not or shake reviews. Will he not or will he shake? Yeah! Hello. Johnny here with Jim Bobby. <laughs> Shit, I'm messing up. Welcome to another thing of not or shake reviews. Not if it's... Not if it's good, shake if it's not so good. Either way, you check it out. Because you might find your new favorite movie. Happy St. Patrick's Day, everybody. Uh, St. Patrick's Day? Yeah. This Why? Is, I didn't know that. This is what I wear on my average Thursday. All right. Bro, you look like... I look like Buddy the Elf. No. <laughs> no, you don't. You look like... Uh, who am I thinking of? Uh, oh, Elton John. Uh, Benny and the Jets. All righty, on to the review. What do I look like? Uh, the guy from ZZ Top. What? Okay. What's this movie called? Oh, I know. X. If you forgot the title of this movie. Yeah, it's man. pretty simple. X. Just the letter. I'm giving it a nod. Uh, you just didn't... Me and you are not agreeing lately. We agreed on that, I don't agree man. on anything that you've been reviewing. I've I've disagreed with you a lot. I like when we disagree, actually. Um... um who wants to go first? You go first on why not, and I, I'm gonna. Uh, so I I want to start with the positives first. There was some very flip flop, flip flop. No, I like you're the negative, so you give negatives. Don't say no, what you like. You should always praise the no. good things. No, 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 in no, no, movie, no, 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 because so... then you're literally gonna take away from mine. So what's the point? Just so... tell your negative nonsense. So I'm gonna tell my positives. I, the way that it was shot was cool. Um, <laughs> this is why I liked the movie. Uh, that's it? That's it? That shit should get a shake, bro. No. Because let me tell you, the first half yes, hour of this Yes, this is movie, what your end should be doing. The first half of this movie, probably more, is Texas Chainsaw Massacre. It was too much, and then by the time it wasn't Texas Chainsaw Massacre, I didn't care. I was like, I'm done with this movie. I'm over it. There's some parts I liked. But overall, I was like, all right. Next. Okay. Sonic the Hedgehog. Do you're... it. Uh, go. Yeah, you're, that was weird. That was weird. I agree with the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Too much. Too it much. wasn't shot for shot. No. Um, but it was... I'll tell you when it started. Really? I mean, here's the thing. It's a slasher movie. So if you go into a slasher movie, other than like the real elaborate ones, like I'd say one of the best slasher movies out there in terms of story is Scream, the first one. Like that was like flipping it on its ear a little bit. And that's Wes Craven. Wes Craven also did it with A, uh, a Nightmare on Elm Street. It's not just fucking body horror, people getting killed, you know, like, for, like, this movie feels a lot like the Texas Chainsaw, the uh, Friday the 13th, the Hills Have Eyes, like just gratuitous all of the time, like make you cringe and jump scares every once in a while. What I liked is this this horror movie for being a horror movie, not a lot of jump scares, not a lot of jump scares in my opinion. Yeah. Uh, a lot of awesome and this is why i truly enjoyed the movie and i'm i'm very specific because i love film mm -hmm. like not just movies i love like like how things are shot how things are edited uh photography like cinematography that word we're dropping it on you on this one <laughs> it had some really cool interesting things that not only is it shot, obviously, with some kind of uh, film or edited that way to make it look grainy and old and, and, and rustic, mm -hmm. um, but the transition work uh, from scene to scene, there was this one special transition where it would, it would bounce back and forth like very quickly between the last shot and the first shot like three times, mm -hmm. and I, I loved that. Yes. So... That's what makes me that that's what appeals to me. Yes. Do I agree with him? There was this one element uh it's a corridor shot corridor shot that is the first kill scene in Texas Chainsaw and it's like scene for scene it's verbatim Texas Ch Chainsaw. Um I think it was trying to pay homage to it because it's also filmed and 
takes place in Texas. I don't know. I, I felt like the whole the whole first half hour, I was like, <laughs> I was, I, I I was just waiting for Leatherface to come out and be like, "Hey guys," even though they just did the Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2022. Yo, you recently. know what I'm thinking, dude? We should make a slasher movie, the pair of us, and we're like this. This is the this is the like, costume. I'll, I'll stupidly reveal myself the whole time, Aaron. You have a very brilliant disguise, but they don't have to figure out I'm the killer because this is my costume. Look at this beard; it's doing the wave. I can't. I I, I thought you would have liked it. And just so you know, there's a lot of nudity. A lot of nudity. So, <laughs> don't bring them kids. <laughs> don't bring kids. A lot of lot of gratuitous violence and nudity, but. Yeah. It's a movie about making a f porn film and then getting murdered. So you get what you pay for. Yep. Alrighty, uh, we're we're close to the one hundred and fiftieth episode. I don't know what we're gonna do. I want to do something special. Give us ideas. Why? Why what? Why? Because we did something special for the hundredth. I know, but what now, you're gonna, they, now you're going to now you're going to it do, because I, you want to celebrate an anniversary. I wanna, I you're wanna, one of those types, huh? No, I want to do something small, but like you know, hey, no. we've been doing this 100. We've been doing 150 this, years. 150 years. Then I, no, this. see, I don't. I, no, the 200th episode, and it's not like we get canceled. No one can silence us. <laughs> no, but leave a comment below if if you agree with me about this. 150th anniversary show. What? We didn't do a 25th anniversary or 25th episode anniversary or a 50th. We waited for the 100th. And then we we had something. No, we did something. We did something a little small during the 50th. You weren't there, though, because it was COVID. I wasn't there because I don't believe in this shit. Uh, alrighty. Thanks for cringing. Uh, Lost Paradise next week. Or Lost City, the movie with Chaining to Tom. Alrighty. Thanks for cringing. Oh, that's next week because that's going to be my jam. Ugh. What? 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 Excuse me? Sandra Bullock is a national treasure, bro. Bye. Thanks for reading.